Are you ready to step up your game and start learning more about the Linux kernel? Well, this is an absolutely fantastic resource and I'll make sure to post a link in the description below. Let's check it out and talk about it. Yes, that's right. This is a great open source guide to learning about operating systems and the Linux kernel. As it says here, it's a collection of lectures and labs on the Linux kernel and walks you through all sorts of topics that overview the kernel and has a hands-on part which contains exercises. And I love sharing this kind of content with people because some of us have a hard time of finding valuable resources which help us learn and teach others about the power of things that we use every day. Operating systems, especially if you're using Linux, this even applies more to you. This content here is based on operating systems too. It's an actual course from the Computer Science and Engineering Department at the University of Polytechnica of Bucharest and has been translated over to English for us English speaking people. And one of the most important parts is this operating systems too, which puts you into a lecture about operating systems, which includes an overview of the Linux kernel, system calls, processes, interrupts, symmetric multiprocessing, address, space, memory management, file system management, kernel debugging, networking, architecture layer, and virtualization. For those of you trying to actually create a kernel yourself, this is a fabulous way on learning of the inner workings of a kernel. And are you ready to start learning more about Linux today? Check out my Linux checklist and cheat sheet at learn.savvynick.com. There's also a link in the description below. Moving on, they don't stop at lectures. They actually give you labs so you can interact with what you're learning about. They have 12 labs, which include an introduction, the working with the kernel API, character device drivers, IO access and interrupts, deferred work, memory mapping, block device drivers, file system drivers, part one and two, networking, kernel development on ARM and kernel profiling. Finally, we have assignments, which is basically six assignments working with various things such as the kernel API, KPro based tracers, a UART driver, RAID software implementation, file system, and work with a transport protocol. Absolutely phenomenal and given to us by the kernel development community. So the operating systems two course contains all of these things that we've already gone through but use this page to make it a little easier on you. It's almost like a wiki setup. You can actually click the various different portions. And once you have a subsection selected, you can start going through things. Notice how far in depth this goes. An absolutely phenomenal course for those of us who are new to the kernel. And it also gives you this various different subsections in each of these lectures or chapters, I'll call them. So if we think of these as chapters, you have different subsections in the chapters themselves. You have to first click on it in order to get it. You can't just expand and collapse them, but there's so much good information in here. I've used this as a reference over the years for myself, and I think it should be shared amongst us all. For those of us that don't know about it, make sure to spread the word because someone else who you may know might not know about this page as well, might as well share the knowledge wealth. Useful info is great too because it gets you some information about setting up on a virtual machine so you can actually test and do the labs then as well as customizing that virtual machine in a specific manner so you can debug, build the kernel and use containers to make things easier for yourself. And finally, if you want to contribute, which I would encourage everyone to do, you can actually add to the labs, build documentation and make things even better with this open source project thanks to the kernel development community. Now that you know about this, let me know what you're first going to start out learning about in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Make sure to like the video, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.